Okay, well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Planning Plus Software. Uh, my name's Gavin McGay. I'm the Managing Director and Founder of Planning Plus. And today I've got online Trent Walkton, who is the Managing Director of South Tweed Autos. Not a business that's not too far from me, but obviously I can't go there at the moment because of the situation that we're all in. So I was talking to Trent the other day and uh, we we're looking at all of the different things that have taken place in the industry and with the business and and Trent shared with me that he created a little spreadsheet there to help him out with the JobKeeper payments and I said mate that's fantastic awesome and I asked him if he if he would be prepared to share that with us so we can um, share it out with the broader community the collision repair industry or for, for any business for that matter because it's it's relevant just to wages and what difference it could make for you um, or what, where your shortfalls are going to be, etc. So I've got Trent on the line as a panelist in the meeting and Trent, thanks very much for making this available and I'll just hand over to you if you wouldn't mind explaining to everyone just how this came about and how we use the tool. Yeah, hi everyone out there. Um, thanks for having me, Gav. Um, well, this tool came about obviously with what's happening on uh, happening out there in the world um, and the look moving forward we really want to start budgeting and planning financially for the for the quieter times ahead um, when the government announced the job keeper payment program it was perfect timing for us because we, we were really unsure of whether we we're gonna have to get rid of people whether we're gonna have to stand down staff um, and then when the job keeper program came out um, was a fantastic um, benefit to businesses to help keep all the staff on. What we wanted to do um, is we wanted to know exactly if we incorporated the job keeper program into our business, we wanted to know what our payroll would look like uh, each week. So then we could start budgeting uh, weekly and monthly so we knew exactly where we stood. With this spreadsheet, um, I can't take credit for it. Uh, our lovely girls in accounts came up with this spreadsheet uh, for me. Um, but it's a pretty basic spreadsheet, but it gives you all the information that you need. Pretty much um, what you can see on Gavin's screen there is um, down the left-hand side, we've got all of our employees, or you can enter all your employees down there um, from your office uh, on your salary um, earners. And then you can go down and we've got them grouped together. You've got your wage earners, um, and then even further down, we've got um, other rates. So they're just um, staff members that work different hours uh, in the shop. And then the fourth section down lower, uh, we've got our hourly rates for our staff that are casual that actually won't get the job keeper payment. And even though they're not going to get the job keeper payment because they've actually only been with us for about three or four weeks, um, our goal here is we don't want to stand anyone down or put anyone out and having to fend for themselves through this period. So we're trying to budget uh, our payroll for the whole business and in keeping in mind that we don't want to let anyone go. We want to try and support everyone in the business um, for as long as we can, obviously. So you've got all your staff members down the left-hand side. And then as you sort of start coming across to the right, you've got everyone's hourly rates in there. Um, and then as you move across, you've got the hours that they're, they're working. You can see here we've got our, all of our staff members entered as a 38-hour week. But once we started planning and moving forward, oh, sorry, yeah, we've got them in there as a 38-hour week. They generally base, uh, we base um, our weeks off 40 hours. But budgeting moving forward, trying to save costs, we've had to pull everyone back to 38 hours and cut all the overtime out, which I guess is an obvious thing to do. So in the highlighted section uh, in the yellow, you've got your total gross. So this is a total gross um, of obviously your, your hour, hourly rate and that multiplied by your hours. And then across you can go and you get the, um, the job keeper payment. And so we've entered the job keeper payment there on a weekly basis. It's obviously 500 gross uh, per fortnight, but we're looking at this spreadsheet on a weekly basis. And then over on the right hand side, it's the actual cost of um, our gross wage um, minus the job keeper payment, and then we can see what our gross cost is on, on each staff member. Now, as you go down the bottom of the screen, um, you can see down the bottom, 
as it's entered now, um, our total gross payroll would be about just under $41,000 a week. Incorporating the JobKeeper payment for the people that are entitled to the JobKeeper payment, we'll get um, a government incentive um, of $24,000 um, per week. And then, so our, what we know now is on a weekly basis moving forward, our payroll is going to cost us just under $17,000. Uh, which is fantastic to take your payroll from forty thousand dollars a week down to down to seventeen thousand dollars. It's a big help, and uh, it means that we'll be able to keep people employed uh, longer and 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 try and keep everyone moving forward. And I guess what what we're looking at uh, going into we're fortunate enough April where where we've got work on to the end of April. We're pretty much booked out for April, but May is going to be a different story for us. And we're aim with our forecasting and our budgeting, we're aiming to have um, a shock capacity. We're going to be down to about 40% of capacity. So with this JobKeeper payment and being able to budget on this spreadsheet for our payroll, because I guess payroll, um, you know, that can equate to about, you know, 30% of your turnover. So it's, um, it's quite a big quite a big chunk of your turnover payroll. So that's where it's good to have a tool like this where you can see what your weekly expense of your payroll is. Yeah, well, that's that's really cool. And um, that's awesome what you've done. And I know you were a part of our uh, cash flow management workshop that Ben and I held the, the webinar that we held the other day. So it's when you can combine that with tools like this, just to give you a, a picture, and then you can just play around with it to make changes. So you might actually, then you might have to start looking at, do I reduce some of my guys and share the load? Like, do we need to come down to say, well, okay, well, some of the guys, we, we might have to put people on you know, 30 hour weeks. Um, what's that do to my shortfall in my gross wages? So would that be a fair representation of how you'd utilize the tool, Trent? Oh, definitely, definitely. I think in our business, because we want to try and keep everyone on for as long as possible, um, we've got the motto, it's either one in, all in. So if we, um, and that includes us as business owners and all of our managers all the way down to our technicians, if we need to cut hours back and our payback, we're, we're all in. So um, going from 40 hours to 38 is across the, everyone in the shop. And then moving forward, if, if you know we're targeting for forty percent capacity in May, if it's lower than that, we might have to lower everyone's hours again. And then what you said there, Gav, is exactly right. We might have to bring them down to thirty hours. So if we put thirty hours um, for all the staff members in the in the column there, then that'll change. Um, you know, it, we'll be able to see the calculation of what our payroll is going to look like with everyone on thirty hours. Yeah, so that's, you know, a handy way to just then look at it. So I've just changed everyone there and you can see the difference in what it's made to the overall total gross shortfall um, as, as compared to the subsidy. So it's a, just a handy little tool to have you play around with it. And look, I really commend you there on, on your approach to this and, and doing everything within your power to one in all in. That's a, that's a really big call and it just shows the... Um, you know, the respect that you have for, for your team and the commitment that you're prepared to make with your team. And uh, so kudos to you there, because I know you've got great culture you, within your business. And um, so yeah. to do that, that's that's uh, an amazing way to look at it. But that's what we're all here for during this, is this is bringing out some amazing um, goodness around the world in, in humanity. And there's there's good in every bit of bad and I've seen some really great things happening from a humane level um, also so probably one thing that we might need to clear up is just people might be saying well what, how do we qualify for that job keeper payment and how do you believe your business actually qualifies for that job keeper payment yeah well I guess uh, with the job keeper payment um, with our understanding and we've had our accountants look into it and send us through plenty of information the biggest thing is you've got to show a 30% downturn in your, in your revenue um, compared to the same month last year or they'll, they'll look at a, a period as well. So I guess for most businesses, you're going to have that 30% downturn. Um, we've just come out of some really good months um, for the first quarter of this calendar year. Um, and then but April will be a different story. Even though we've got a fair bit of work on. Um, we've got to really focus that that work spread out through April and May into the start of May, so then we can actually show that we've got a 30% downturn 
so we're um, so we can take advantage of the job keeper payment and knowing that going into the end of May it's going to get very quiet. Um, so we're going to be eligible anyway, but we really got to make sure we focus on having that thirty percent downturn so we can get our um, so we can get our um, yeah job keeper payments come through. Yeah, awesome. And uh, you're prepared for us to be able to make this tool available for anyone in from any type of business to um, get a hold of. Yes, definitely, definitely. I think um, for businesses, you've got to go out and do the research and find out if you're you're definitely able to get the JobKeeper program yourself um, for for your business. But as far as a spreadsheet goes, it's quite a simple tool and quite a simple spreadsheet. But if it benefits people out there, I'm happy for um, for Gab to share it. And um, if we can help people um, budgeting and you know by using this, um, yeah, more than happy to do so. Okay, mate. Well, that's awesome. Thanks very much for that. Simple explanation, simple spreadsheet, everyone. But it's just everyone helping each other here. And we know that we're coming up to Easter. So we've got a couple of days off coming up now. And for some people, they've already been off. But we're trying to keep, we're all trying to keep going in this. And we're all trying to uh, remain um, focused and just work through every day's challenge. Um, Trent, go and enjoy your Easter, mate. Have a bit of a um, you know, quiet time there with uh, family. And um, if you actually make it out to do a little bit of horse riding, just take it a little bit easier on those hamstrings. I've, I've heard, yeah. <laughs> well, I've only got one at the moment. So. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I mention that is that uh, you went and did a little bit of exercise uh, uh, on his, uh, out on the farm doing a little bit of horse riding and a bit of polo practice. And then he ended up tweaking his hamstring so um yeah been there done that and um not a comfortable injury but um thanks very much trent awesome mate good on you for no, that sorry. and we'll make this available to anyone that wants it we'll do a bit of promotion over our, our sites and uh, across uh, all the channels and um we'll get this information to them so thank you mate and thanks for everyone for tuning in for just this little bit of a um uh, how can we help you? Helping us to help you and uh, everyone's in this together. So thanks, mate. Right. And bye for thanks, all. guys. Bye now to everyone. Thank you. Yeah.